Amen. 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 This ain't buddy in the house. The Lord just is saying, just say, bless the Lord. Come on. Bless the Lord. Come on. We need to say it. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Take take a moment. Take a moment. Just bless the Lord. Amen. Or your tongue or whatever. Hallelujah. Just bless the Lord. Amen. It ain't about not about Hallelujah. It's not about the French word again, right? But it's about the Lord our Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Lord God. We hide and lift it up, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. God. God. It's an awesome God. Yes. Hallelujah. We just thank you. Hallelujah. We just thank the Lord. Amen. We just thank the Lord for our very lives. Amen. To be able to come out into the house of the Lord just to, to. to yes. celebrate every Hallelujah. day. Every day we should celebrate our Lord and our Savior, yes. Jesus yes. Christ, Lord. and Hallelujah. what he's done, what he's doing, what he's getting ready to do in yes. our lives. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't know about Amen. you, but yeah, I don't, I'm going to let you know God is not done. No, he's, not. he's not done in your life. He's not done with your situation. Amen. He's not done. Amen. Let me tell you, every lot of people think that it takes sometimes if we pray to God about something that's going on, that we pray to God, so what next? And God says, keep on praying. Yes. Keep on worshiping yeah. me. Because yeah. I'm doing something. Amen. Yeah. No yes. man can do what I can do, God says. Yes. No man can no man can change any things like I can change things. That's Amen. Right. We know we look a lot of times for man to change things. We look time we look for our money to change things. We look for our abilities to change things but you know when it all comes down to if God be for us who can be who against can us be against amen us. glory be to God amen amen and I praise God for each and every one of you being in here today being in the midst amen yes. amen I, I I, I claim all the children of God amen as a blessing unto the Lord amen if it's the first time you've been here or it's you've been here quite all quite often you are the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I, I just thank the Lord today for what God is doing. Amen. In the in the I just sit there and I just have a good time. I mean, Amen. I just I just want you to know it, it's it's not about what the what the preacher's gonna say, but it's what God is saying in your heart sometimes. Amen. And a lot of us do not even uh, even getting to the point, uh, getting to the place where we allow God to speak to our hearts and our mind. And you got to get to that place, Amen. It isn't just you come to church and you just spend a good time. See, we we we've been so churchy minded, Amen. Amen. And we got to get we got to be we got to break out of that so man. We, you know, God, God can speak to you. God can move in your life. You know, you, you can be sitting right here and the preacher be preaching. And can everyone be shouting and God be just talking. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for today. I'm, I'm not going to be long. I, I, I'm not going to say that. But wait said, every time I say it, I'm not going to be long. I, you know, I get excited and get going. There's a few people. Amen. But there's some things. There's some things. Amen. Thank you for your kindness. Amen. But there's some things. There's just a couple things that I want to just to explain to you today. Amen. And, and what the Lord what the Lord is saying in these in these days. Amen. And from Ephesians chapter number two, Amen. We, we, we're reading and uh, we're reading and uh, you know, glory be to God. I have been talking to my little preacher to become, Amen. I was telling him some things that he needed to get, you know, get connected, Amen, with the with the man of God, Amen. That he can do what what God has called him to do. Amen. So see, I I believe I believe that we this is a this is a different time for the people, and we just can't do things on the normal like we used to do things. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. So we we had and 
when you read in Second Ephesians, Amen. And uh, I'm asking to read that with me, starting with verse number twelve to all the way to the to the conclusion of chapter two of Ephesians chapter two. If you don't have a Bible and you know that, that's fine, you can just uh, mumble along with the rest of us. Amen. <laughs> The word of God says that that at the time at that time we were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who have made both one and, and have broken, broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in the flesh the entity, even the wall of commandments contained in the ordinances, towards him making himself of twain one new man, so many peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the entity thereby. And he came and he preached peace to you, Amen. which were far off, and to them that were nigh. For though him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but a fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, mm. and in whom all the building fittingly trained together, together, growing unto a holy temple in the Lord, in mm. whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Before you sit down, two Amen. verses in chapter number one of Ephesians. Amen. 4 and 5, it says it like this, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to him according to the good pleasure of his will. Praise God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Shall we take a moment and pray? Father, we just ask you in Jesus' name, Lord, that you illuminate into our minds and to our hearts, Lord God. Lord, what you really desire of your people. And we thank you for this day. And we ask you, Lord, to bless the day as it continues. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. And if I wanted, I, I, I like using titles, amen, and for, not going to be for long, but I'm going to try to more teach and preach at the same time. But so I, I got this kind of topic that came to me, and it, it says, living in two worlds on one earth. Say that with me. Living in two worlds on one earth. And man, do you even understand what you just said? Mm -hmm. Living, we, we, we are, we, we read it that we are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation under God. God is our king. He is our Lord. He is our savior. He is, he is the one that we serve. He's the one.